Right here you can see what all the 8 ball versus scratch overtime challenges are and the amazing skin that you get from completing them. My name is Storm Ranger and today I'll be going over the best tips and tricks that you don't want to miss out on on how to complete these amazing challenges ridiculously fast. But first, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to complete your challenges fast, get exclusive items easily, and learn more about all sorts of other Fortnite related things, you can start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Alright, so again, right here on screen you can see what all these challenges are. Credit to ShinaBR over on Twitter for creating this clean graphic of all of the challenges. By completing these challenges, the player can unlock the brown version of the April and Scratch skins along with 520,000 XP. Though note, the player must first hit tier 60, unlocking the April and Scratch skins first before they can unlock the brown style. Since quite a few of these challenges are actually pretty difficult, requiring the player to search for gnomes, go to mountain camps, and swim at no swimming signs, I'll be going over the best strategies that you can use to complete these challenges insanely quickly right now. Okay, so the first challenge is to earn three bronze battle medals by getting eliminations in a match. Now, bronze battle medals can be unlocked through several ways during a match, which include eliminating a single player, placing top 50, assisting in elimination, or searching three chests, llamas, or supply drops. So as you can see from this list, you're likely going to complete this challenge without even trying. So unless you want to quickly join and then leave three matches to get these challenges over with, I just recommend for you to skip them for now. And the second challenge is to ring the doorbell of a house with an opponent inside in three different matches. So doorbells can be found by the front door of most houses at name locations. What I recommend to do for this challenge is land at the closest name location with conventional housing, of course, to where the battle bus flies over, and then head over to the front door and ring the doorbell of a house that you saw someone else land in. Afterwards, just do this two more times. Really, as long as you're completing this challenge at hot drops in the early game, where you know players are going to be in just about any house that you go to, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Now, the third challenge is a dance at Rainbow Rentals, Beach Bus, and Lake Canoe. So personally, I love this challenge, because it gives me an excuse to show you guys this really cool video I got from replay mode. I mean, am I wrong, or does this look insanely cool? Well anyway, the video that I am showing you currently is Rainbow Rentals, and then in the bottom right hand corner, you can see where it is on the map. You can find it on the beach, just found southwest of Holly Hedges. Now on screen, you can see the beach bus. It is found over in the little beach, just northwest of Steamy Stacks. And finally, now on screen you can see the Lake Canoe, you'll be able to find it just north of Retail Row and southwest of Dirty Docks. But in case you find it hard to see exactly where in the map these locations are, since it was pretty tiny down in the corner, now on screen you can see a bigger map of where each of these locations are. So just dance at these three locations, and just like that, you will complete this challenge. Now the fourth challenge is to swim at two different no swimming signs. Now we love this challenge again because I am the most helpful on challenges like these, there are a total of three no swimming signs that are located around the map, obviously by water. You must go to two of them. On screen now, you can see some more over the top cinematic footage that it got over from replay mode of these signs. Hopefully this will give you a better idea of exactly where to look. But again, now on screen you can see a bigger map of where to find these signs. Just head over to two of these signs within any game mode, and then obviously swim, and as long as you know where the signs are, this challenge should be pretty easy. Now the fifth challenge is to deal 75 damage with a harpoon gun to opponents. So this is just a weird challenge, I mean, this is kind of hard to do in solos, duos, or squads, since you only have one life, and hitting an opponent with a harpoon gun several times is not exactly the easiest thing to do. So to complete this challenge, you're just going to want to jump into a game of Team Rumble, and then spend a few minutes looting until you find a harpoon gun, and then use the rest of the match to try and hit opponents with that weapon. Yeah, that's all, I mean, this challenge is quite hot. Now, the sixth challenge is to gain health or shields in a bush. Wow, another very interesting challenge. This challenge is exactly how it sounds. Just go up to a bush and then gain health or shield. Yeah, though surprisingly, it has to be a rather big bush and you can't do this in just your everyday small bush. So you're going to want to have to look for a big bush. Or you could just go here from this 10 out of 10 amazing beautiful cinematic footage that I for some reason went out of my way to get of a freaking bush. You can find this bush just east of Fake Loot Lake. But really, this challenge is simply easy. And the seventh challenge is to search for the hidden gnome found in between a fancy view 
a wooden shack, and a big house. Yes, 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 this is another challenge that you all need my help out, so you'll stick around and increase the watch time of this video. Thank you so much, Epic Games. So the hidden gnome for this challenge can be found right here in this little field. Now with a wider angle, the gnome is found right in this spot, over just southeast of Sweaty Sands, or right here on the map. And in case you're curious about the fancy view, wind shack, and big house the gnome is found between, the fancy view is found in this building just north of the gnome, the wooden shack is found right here, just northeast of the gnome, and finally, the big house is found right here, just southeast of the gnome. Of course, you don't actually need to know this, but I really wanted an excuse to use my, once again, over-the-top cinematic footage, so you're welcome. But really, once you find this gnome, all you got to do is collect it like you would search a chest, and you will complete this challenge. Now, the eighth challenge is to bounce on bouncy objects in three different matches. And can I please just say, this challenge is very descriptive. I mean, we all know exactly what bouncy objects are, so you don't need my help with this challenge. No, but really, apparently the umbrellas over at Sweaty Sands count as bouncy objects. So just land at Sweaty Sands, jump on an umbrella, then leave the match, and repeat this process twice more. That's it. This challenge will take you less than five minutes to complete. And the ninth challenge is to visit three different mountain base camps. Okay, so this time, I'm going to put the map of the locations on screen first. Just land at each of these locations with an any game mode, and you'll complete this match. But since this map isn't really the most helpful, now on screen, you can see my over-the-top cinematic footage of where to find each of these camps. The camps you can see on screen currently are found on top of the mountain that's just south of Retail Row. And now on screen, these camps you can see are from the mountain that is found just south from this time, Misty Meadows. And finally, now on screen, the camps you can see are found just southwest of Lazy Lake. Now, because you only must visit these locations, this challenge will be a piece of cake once you know where to go. Now, the tenth and final challenge out of all of the 8-Ball vs. Scratch challenges is to travel 100 meters while dancing. Now, this is another strange but easy challenge. Just go into a safe game mode like Team Rumble, and then find a remote location on your side of the map where you know opponents won't be, and then use a traversal emote to dance and travel at the same time. And in case you don't already have a traversal emote, you can get one for free with this season's battle pass by hitting tier 86. But really that's all, this challenge is quite easy. Anyway, I hope this video is able to help you all out with completing all of the 8-Ball vs. Scratch challenges. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, feel free to use code STORMRANGER when purchasing anything within Fortnite. And if you want to learn how to get better at Fortnite, complete your challenges fast, and improve at all sorts of other Fortnite-related things, you can start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. To do that, just click this card you can see right here. And if you want to learn more about how to get the Rogue Spider Knight skin for really cheap, you can just click this card. But that is all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.